Morning everyone. Today is Monday, October 28th. Uh, I'm gonna do a free video watch list. So for those of you that don't know, every Monday, I'm going to put out a free video watch list on YouTube, but every day throughout the week, the MIC members are gonna get this stuff for free. So before I start, I wanna talk about our free trading course that we have. This is a free two hour course that Bao and I created for non-members. It's limited seating every single week. So go to myinvestingclub.co, click reserved my seat now, and then uh, you can start the webinar. And then if you watch the entire webinar till the end, you get access to a free 10 hour mini course as well. So reserve your spot, space fills up every week, usually by Tuesday. So try to reserve your spot, lock it in, and let's get started. So um, let me kind of scroll up a little bit. Let's watch this. Perfect. All right, so let's start with RBZ. So RBZ is a low hanging fruit. Um, I really, really like this setup uh, because it seems like not a lot of people are gonna be watching it. Um, so these are kind of the levels that I'm looking for. I'm looking for 205, I'm looking for around 215, and I'm looking for 220. So I'll be using the 30% rule on a setup like this. If you don't know what 30% rule is, either DM me or watch the videos on it. Uh, I'm gonna scale my first 10% here, scale my next 10% here, scale my next 10% here, and stop out above here. If this stock kind of pushes to two, fails, and goes red, I'd be comfortable kind of sizing in on that, risking up to this line here. IC is a brand new setup. Um, if you look at the daily chart, it has a massive gap fill to seven. Um, that's what people are gonna be excited for on this one. I really don't know where the top is. I really don't want to know where the top is. What I see is a potential death line setup on this stock. Uh, so I'll essentially be waiting for the death line to confirm, and then that's when I'll take my trade. I don't wanna look for the top. I don't wanna anticipate the top. Uh, sure, there's some resistance around two right now. It looks like it's stuffed on larger than normal volume. Uh, you could take a 30% trade on this stock, but I mean, unless you're managing your risk very well, there's no point. So either wait for the death line on this or if two tops out you could short uh you know the 190s and twos with a stop over you know 205 sorry i'm still a little bit sick xnet um this was one from friday um if you look at the chart here it kind of uh trapped every single short every dip was bought up um so on something like this when there are this many short stock, you know, the stock went from 250 up to $6 in two days. Yes, this is a parabolic move. Yes, this is a big opportunity. But what we have to remember on something like this is that shorts are the ones stuck, right? They are the ones that need the exit. So on a setup like this, there's either two ways you could trade it, right? The way you trade it, number one is, see a line 650. And I see a line around 6.30. And there's a little bit at six, but I think that might be too early. So on a setup like this, uh, you could use a 30% rule, 10% here, 10% here, 10% here, and then exit above there. Um, so that's a little bit of a riskier trade. That's a little bit of a harder trade. Essentially what you should be doing is just waiting for the first red day. You know, even if you short at 480 when the stock goes red, you know, you still can make money to 450, 420, and even four bucks. Yes, it's going to be less stressful. Yes, it's going to be easier. But the problem is most people cannot wait to short when it goes red. They get FOMO. So control your FOMO. Um, if you feel the need to get FOMO, remind yourself, talk to your tabs, use maybe a tenth of your size. Just remember that there's so much meat on the bone on this setup that you don't have to be early. And last but not least is CNET. Um, not really much meat on the bone. I see 170 and towards 180 a little bit. So I'll have fantasy orders in these areas with a stop above this. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm recording this at 7.43 a.m. Uh, if a new stock pops up, I'll mention it to the members, but yeah, we do this uh, video watch list every single day for MIC members. So if you, have any, if you have any questions about me or MIC, email Tosh at myinvestingclub.com.
Thanks, guys.